back to another episode of Minecraft Survival. This is part 63. It has been a long time since I made my last video. It's been a long time since I've made, like, all of my videos. I seriously need to get back onto, like, a schedule. Maybe in February I'll actually be, I guess, on a schedule again, hopefully. Because recently I have been putting huge gaps between all of my videos. Uh, anyways. So, last time we did two things. We did one, the little villager breeder over there, which I guess we didn't really build, we more of just threw a bunch of doors around a pre-existing villager breeder. And two, the big thing that we did, we built this gigantic potato farm that auto harvests. Now, as you can see, I did plant in all the potatoes, finally, that took me quite a little bit of a while. But, it's all done, and we do not need to worry about that anymore. What we do need to do, though, is head... No, wrong way. Wait, was it the wrong way? No, it was not the wrong way. We need to head over here. We need to pull this lever. This is the harvesting lever. This entire thing... I know some of the crops aren't grown, but I'm not too terribly worried about that. This entire thing is about to be harvested. It's fitting that it's almost sunset. In three, two, one... And look at it go. Look at all the potatoes just being, like, thrown all the way down. I really thought it would harvest a lot slower than that, and that it would, like, slowly make the potatoes go down, but no. And if we just run through here, you'll see, um, oh, not yet. Uh, yep, full inventory <laughs> already. This thing is incredibly, incredibly, I guess, potato massive. It makes a lot of potatoes. Not to mention the fact that it takes 648 potatoes to replant, or 10 stacks plus an extra 8. So, yeah, this is a very, very big potato farm. A lot bigger than I actually expected it to be. But, you know what? I am not complaining. The only part that is a little annoying about it is every time that you harvest it, you gotta replant every single one of those 641 potatoes. So, I will be right back as soon as I'm done with that. That literally took five minutes just to replant all these potatoes. I seriously wish there was some way to plant these, maybe with like dispensers or something. That'd be nice. Uh, anyways, taking a step back from this ridiculously sized potato farm, we just head up to the villager area. There's a couple things I want to say. First, the villager farm obviously is working really well. I'm really happy about that. It's apparently really good at producing clerics. And second, look what I found. This horse, I don't remember what episode it was, but this horse was the first horse that I got in this series. It, I found it, like, I was waiting for my crops to grow, I found it just kind of walking around if I could jump out of here. I might not be able to, actually. I might be stuck forever. Yeah, this thing wasn't very good at jumping, was it? Uh, anyways, I found it walking around just somewhere over there. Apparently, it... Like, just wandered back into the area where I was, because I literally have not seen this thing in, like, 60 episodes. I forgot about it. Entirely. But we have it back, so, yeah, I guess that's cool. But anyways, it's about time that we move on to actually getting, I guess, the main idea of this video done. And that is, it's time to move some of these villagers into the giant farm tower over there. Because I want that thing to be finished. And currently, it's got the structure of it done. Like, if we just fly over there. Let's see if I head up to the top floor here. Go down here. Up to here. So we have big open spaces. I guess I haven't planted anything yet. Oh yeah, I remember. So the villager harvests all the things, replants everything. Anything they have left, they go up to here. They try and throw it at the villager that will be in there, which means I need some extra hoppers. And then... That all goes down to a little hopper line. I can't remember if I used an organizer or if it just went straight into a specific chest based on what level it was. I believe it just goes into like an organizing thing. If I can go down the ladder. Uh, this is for wheat, this is for carrots, that's for potatoes, and that's for beetroot, I believe? Yes, it's definitely beetroot. Okay. So yes, it goes into an organizer, yes, that's how it works. So, basically all I need to do is I need to get some random villager, I guess I'll just go into this level, for example. I need to put some random villager in there, and then I need to get a farmer villager, 
and just throw them around there, which means a couple things. One, I need four more hoppers, which I probably have just in my chest over in my house, and two, I need a lot of rail tracks, because I guess I could use a boat to get them over here, but I'm not that patient. I'd rather just push them in a minecart. So I guess let's head back to the house and see what we have in our possessions already, see if we can get this done without crafting anything. Alright, so here's what our resources are looking like. We have 13 hoppers, which will be plenty, like plenty times 3 plus 1. And then we have two hoppers, which is, er, not hoppers, sorry, minecarts, which is the exact number that we need for each level, so that's good. And then we have, sadly, only two and a half stacks of rails. So I'm not really sure how far that's going to get us. I know it's definitely not going to get us all the way there. So, I guess what that means is we need to make more rails, but first let's see how far this gets us. And also, how are we going to get them in the rails without, like, pushing them out of the way? I guess I could make one of these, like, hit a hole into a door, but make it block off whenever I have the villager I need, and then... Yeah, I guess I'll just do something like that. First, let's put down the rails. Alright, four and a half stacks of rails later... We are finally... I can't get... Come on, there we go. We are finally done putting in all the rails. Now I just need to figure out how in the world I'm going to do this. So let's see, if I were to do that, then I guess break these two doors temporarily. Oh! Okay, that's fine. You know what, we can use a cleric. So then we'll just put those there get a minecart. Well, I guess I should probably put a block in that position, just in case the villager decides to go rogue. So now let's push the villager, just push them into the position where the minecart goes, put the minecart down, and they get pushed out of the way? What? Oh, there we go. Okay, so we have the cleric. Now, I need to get another farmer out. So I guess let's move this guy a couple blocks forward, just to make my life a little bit easier. And let's block him off so he can't, like, walk into me, I guess. And now we need to get specifically the farmer. How am I going to do this one? Uh, where is the farmer? Fisherman, fisherman, farmer. You're the farmer. Okay, so I need to pull you all the way over. Now this is going to be quite annoying because this villager seems to not want to leave this wall. For some reason, it is just stuck on that wall. And now it's stuck in that position because he's phased... Okay, this is going to be really frustrating, isn't it? Hold on, let's see if I can move everyone out of the way and just get really lucky with this. No, I can't, of course. Why would I be able to? You know what, let's kill the fisherman. Because this guy's just getting in the way. Oh, come on. I forgot about the... Uh, oh, and I can't get out. Okay, where is he? There he is. We gotta kill this guy. Where is the farmer? There's the fisherman. There's the farmer. Okay. Let's kill this fisherman. He's useless. And you know what? We could really do with a lot less of brown coats that are useless. So let's kill all these guys as well. Let's push him over to here. Do that. Okay, thanks for moving out of the way. Doesn't matter. You're stuck in the minecart anyway. Nothing you can do about it. Now let's go over to where the door is. And there we go. We made it all the way. Now I need to grab this block because I forgot we need to use wood as placeholders, not cobblestone. Cobblestone is kind of important to this. Er, well, it's part of the wall, so it's important, I guess. Yeah, that didn't make much sense. Anyways... See if we can make this work. First try. Just push them forward. Let's get them all the way down to the place where they go. I already had quite a bit of trouble with the villagers today, so I'd really appreciate it if they would just be nice and... What in the world just happened? Okay. They're still going forward, that's fine. No, 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 they're going backwards at very high speeds. Why? Why did they lose so much momentum on that? Okay, stop, stop, stop. Where is the other villager? Okay, he just got stuck. Alright, one's over. Let's go get the other. And where are they now? Okay, they're all the way down there. Which means they shouldn't be able to come back. 
Uh, let's see how they do on the next hill. No, no, you're not allowed to go down. Stay on the rail. Guess we're gonna have to take this one guy at a time going up. Okay. To you. All the way up. I can push you down the other side of the hill. And come back for this guy. Okay, no. Stop going backwards. Stop going backwards. Okay, he jumped the track. Got a runaway villager here. I believe I'm going to do the top level first. Because, well, it's going to be the most frustrating to do. Also, I'm going to need to halt you guys just right here. Just so you don't move any further backward. Uh, how am I going to get them all the way up that hill? You know what, I think the best way to go about this is to just go at it. See how far we can get. This is actually working. That was unexpected. Okay. Well, alrighty then. I guess just going for it was the best option. Yeah, we- okay. That's the easiest I've ever- Okay. Apparently the villagers feel bad about earlier, because now they're being cooperative. Maybe break you out of the minecart. Okay, now just carefully push in. Now that you're not, like, one and a half blocks thick or whatever a minecart is. And boom! There we go. That should be a complete circuit, which means now that guy is in place. That guy's going nowhere. So let's go get your friend. Actually, I need to go get some other materials first. For instance, I need some glass panes as well as some oak stairs, but then I'll be back. Next villager this is the actual farmer this time. So let's see if he'll be as cooperative as the dummy villager in the middle. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Somehow we didn't manage to lose the villager there. That's good. And we made him up too. Alright, this is actually going kind of way too well. It's a little bit eerie. Also, I need to pick a thing to put in this top level. Um, I don't think it matters what I put in here, just as long as... Maybe this this will be the wheat level. All I need to do is break his minecart, run out, and plug up that hole. Okay. Okay. We're good. This thing should be active now. Now, obviously nothing's going to happen until the villager is, like, fully grown in stuff, but... Eventually, this should start actually making stuff, so I'll check in on that at the end of the episode. But, now, it's time to move on to level 2. He's going, and he phased through me, okay. Please, villager, please go the other way. And now they are accelerating in the opposite direction for some reason. Why are they accelerating in this direction? That doesn't even make sense. Okay, doing good, doing good. Still doing good. Doing very well. Okay, just like through. So. Okay, so I think I'm starting to understand how to like propel villagers the best way. Because they continue to go in the same direction, kind of, even if you miss them, I guess. Like, if you walk through them and then like stop right before you're all the way through them, then they get propelled. No, you don't! Stop right there. Stop existing. Die to stay away from my villagers. They're mine, and mine alone. You can't have them. That was a little scary. <laughs> I completely forgot about zombies as a factor. Speaking of things I forgot, guess what else I forgot to do? I forgot to throw any potatoes to the villagers before I left, so we're not going to have any new ones. Alright, break this. There we go. Grab the minecart. Uh, I don't have the things in my hand. Okay, put that there. And get glass panes. Boom, boom, there we go. Level 2 done. Now, I don't think I'll be able to do level 3 or 4 today, since oh, I don't have any more farmer villagers, so I'll need to do those two off camera. But, I am going to do one last thing that up through this episode, and that is wait until some crops have grown up there so that I can see that villager actually start harvesting stuff. Because I want to see if this thing's actually working. Oh, okay, he grabbed one, replanted the seed, now he's going for the other, and replanted the seed, now he has three. Now, is he going to do what I think he's going to do and turn it into bread? Or maybe he's just going to stand there and not, and go to the corner? Okay, what is happening? 
Okay, he's going, he's going somewhere. I am very confused. I might just have to let him do his thing for a long while. We know he's harvesting, that's definitely working, which is good. But he's not throwing his harvested goods that he has left over. You know what, I think I'm going to leave those villagers going for a while. Next time we'll look at the things they've produced, see what we all have in these chests, just see what's going on with that. But I think that's going to be all for this time, I hope you enjoyed, and next time... I don't know what we're going to do. Hopefully we'll have plenty of crops that are starting to form from this, and also hopefully I'll have gotten enough villagers to fill in those last two layers. But I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.